Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. Today, we'll be opening up, or rather, building the Koguakat, uh, the Koguakata, or the Little Stag Beetle from the Ikimono Daizukan Capsule Toy series, or the, um, the Living Organism, uh, or Living Organism Encyclopedia, specifically the Kuagata or the Stag Beetle 04 set. So yeah, this is a 500 yen capsule toy. Um, this released, uh, about a week ago so like the last week of uh, july so yeah um if you normally watch my capsule toy videos uh, usually i have these sealed um however this time it was just a bit easier for me to buy the set um just kind of uh open uh this time it was a bit harder to snipe so i just decided to go with the safe route instead of rolling it off but yeah so here is the the mini booklet that teaches you how to build it specifically i think this is the kokuagata or the little stag beetle so yeah so here's the breakdown with one, two, three, four, five. Um, only numbers three, four, five come with the capsule display stand and wings. Number one and two do not. Um, from what I've seen, they're currently doing is uh, the ones with the color variants. The more unique one color it has nothing. So this time the bronze one of the um, Metariferu, Metariferu horn, Metal Fill Horn. Aka, hon akaga kuakata. Sorry, but Buster's don't quite know it. Um, the bronze one comes with nothing, while the generic black one comes with a stand. So that's kind of what they're doing. So yeah. So here we have it. So let's get this little guy out. So as always, um, this is the one with the display stand. So here, as always, with the wings, it comes. The wings are there, and it comes with the little peg here that you just peg up here the body which um it's really small like really really small compared to um you know what we usually get which i guess makes sense because it's the little guy so hmm and we got the legs so there we have it but yeah um definitely really small just you know interesting this time it's kind of it's soft this time the, the horn here is soft usually it's hard but this time it's soft and rubbery oh wow like the entire mouthpiece as you can see is different it's rubbery hmm interesting so yeah so we have the wings here so as you can see it's kind of got like a little horn so yeah but um so let's build the guy so as always the legs here um on the sprue here if you put just the light and angle it, it will say so this is c3 so these are the bottom legs this is c2 the middle legs and c1 for the top and obviously and the antennas so uh, generally i like to put the antennas last so let's just do the body first so let's pop this in here like so, hmm. yeah so interesting buster Let's see. Ooh. Is it in? It feels like it's a bit harder than normal to get this in, so. Oh, there we go. Nice and tight. So it's, uh, once the body's in, it's not too small, but it is definitely a bit small. But yeah. So let's get the legs in here first. One and two. And just to trim off any excess nub, sprue nubs here, you know, uh, that for sure. And for the most part, generally, like on the ball itself, so you can see kind of right here, they do label R1, so you know, like, oh, like, let's just say like, oh, R1 is over here when you put it from the bottom. So if you look like here, the R1 is on this side. Just so you know uh, which legs came where. However, the ball joint is really quite small. So, yeah. Um, however, this is kind of like a... Because right now in Japan, it is super humid. So, um, like these plastic ho holes and stuff do kind of get warped a bit. So, But nothing like uh, if, you know, some of the molding. So, like the legs and stuff. Uh, if you're ordering it online and by the time it gets to you, like the legs are warped all you really need to do is just kind of put them in boiling water for a few seconds to zap it to soften it up 
um, kind of like angle it the way you like and then just put in cold water to like harden it again so this time it says r2 so we put this one in here so i like to just push it in like that oh so this time this leg goes in much easier than the other one and finally the last leg but yeah mm, so this is the second one from this set that i'm building i did the uh white spotted longy horn beetle and um yeah from mm, this time it is a bit slightly disappointing i think so far with the set all that busters let me just this time it says r hmm always oh, getting r um like not the molding itself the molds are great as always but you know it is just like this one does feel much smaller although maybe i can't blame them because this is called this is called the kobo agata or the little stag beetle so they're definitely on point with him being small so and finally the antennas but you know it's just like uh when from all the previous releases although the first one they were huge and then they kind of got smaller and then now they're kind of cut costs you know and just save it here and there so uh this one's sorry buster it's kind of hard but there is a hole here let's see if i can um, adjust the brightness so you guys can see it's really hard but like if you can just kind of see there's like a circular motion there yeah that's just a hole where you put these in so like that these are hard. I generally just like put it in the hole and then use my fingernails and just push it in for the rest. There we go. Get the other one in. So I move the mouth out of the way. But yeah, um, definitely like the molding quality and stuff is definitely still top tier. Um, it's just that, you know, like volume wise, it is a bit small. However, I also like, because, you know, they're cutting costs here and there. So maybe it's just, you know, one another way they're trying to cut costs by making it a bit like 10% smaller and whatnot. But um, I don't mind it being smaller compared to like the first set. Because the first set, um, while they were really big and had um, movable legs, like at the joints or like the knee joints and whatnot, um... They were really top heavy so i did like the fact that they kind of scaled it down a bit and just made it more you know more poseable so there we go so i don't mind that however like <clears throat> you know uh so far like as the second one it is really small compared to the other one so just want to get that out of the way and there we have it busters let me just move the volume thing down so yeah so here he is um you know great i do love how uniform and matte it is over here and if we pull it as always he's got the little part so for when you want to put the wings um doesn't have much movement the head does go like that the eyes are interesting enough like a brownish red but it really blends in with the black like when you look at it yeah, it's definitely like a brownish red, but it almost just looks like it's just reflecting of the light from the black, so it's hard to tell, but yes. It's got nice molding here. I like the test here. And the bottom, it has the mold. And as I said before, funny enough, this is now soft plastic. So it's bendy. And it's movement there, so real nice. Oops. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, let me just get focus. And to put in the wings, you just, as always, Kind of just lower it up, move the wings outwards, and then, although, there you go, just gonna move it outward like that. So you have more space to lift up the wings like that. Then you grab these. Um, it's writ usually written here on the peg here, like if it's left or right. So there's the L shape there. So it's right left so it's this way and there's a peg hole here so it's kind of hard to show so i just show it like this and then if you just watch me push it in it goes in the hole so definitely the wings here is pretty nice detailing like clear but then you can kind of see they put like a bit more textured sort for it so it's definitely in like, like a new mold in terms of uh, wings so there we have it and then if we display it 
there is a pig hole here that you just pig right here. If you want it in a nice flying mode, I just angle up the camera for you to see. And there we have it. The Kogu Akata. Or the uh, little stag beetle. Looks, yeah, this, like, this stag beetle when it's flying looks nice. Displayed like this, it looks good. Hmm. Definitely like it. You know, move the little guy down, and the wings go, definitely nice wings too. Definitely a brand new mole, I do like these wings. Definitely put a bit, I feel like they put a bit more effort into this set of wings compared to before. So we just put these back, and we just bloop, angle them back up there. Push his little legs down, and he's good to go. So yeah, there he is, Um, as always, with a size comparison. Here he is on a generic Pokemon uh, Digimon card. This is Digimon, so it's the same as a Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, or your Uno, Casino, Trump, uh, bicycle playing cards. Should be a 6x6 and 8x8 centimeters. So he is just a little bit over, like that. Uh, Height-wise, there's not much to go for, but 6x6 is probably like 2 centimeters or so. 1.5, maybe? And in the same line, here he is with the white-spotted uh, Loggy Horn Beetle. Google says Loggy Horn, but um, I feel like they wanted to say Longhorn. I'm not sure. So, like, in my previous video, when I went over the white-spotted beetle here, I said it was really small, and then if you look at it, it is quite small. So, it's definitely that. Uh, here he is with the what I thought was really small, the gold scarab beetle. So it's pretty much the same size, like it's a little bit bigger because of like the pincers here. But I would definitely put these in the same cl uh, size class. And I thought this guy was really small. So just by have in one set, having two really small beetles is kind of, you know, disappointing for a set. You know, if we were to compare him with, I think, this guy, one of the more medium-sized ones, or maybe, you know, you can definitely see a big difference in what is the same value of 500 yen each, especially when these guys came with the wings and the display stand, and now some of these don't. You know, it's kind of sad. Oh, the fight. And, of course, if you want really big, here he is with the uh, set one. So from the set one, you can see, like, it's a huge difference. Like, definitely like a mom, like a parent and child size difference. So, and as you can see, I already said, like, they are a bit too heavy. So I do prefer them slightly smaller, kind of like from the set three and two. So, but yeah, definitely a small guy. But still, very nice. There we go. So yeah, Busters, uh, that's pretty much it for this review of the Koguaga, uh, the Kokuagata, or the little stick egg beetle. Um, overall, there's not much to say. It is, I think, as it is, a little stag beetle. It's quite small compared to all the other ones um, I've reviewed. Um, but I do like it, you know. Um, in terms of pros, you know, I do like, um, unlike some other beetles, um, what is it, the shell and the head is a, the same matte finish. So it just blends in all the way. It's not kind of like painted and glossy, so it does look quite nice. Um, it is quite realistic as always good uh, the attention to detail you know it's got the claws and stuff you know it comes with the wings are really nice i do think it deserves another shout out with just how nice the wings are um but yeah um cons are same as always you know really great stuff uh however the i mean pros the cons however um unlike before I feel like I'm really hard on this series because it's only the second one and it's already um it is really small so uh, I would say for those who were already like, ah, I mean, on the other hand, I do know lots of people who said like, like these guys are hitting above their like weight, uh, weight class. Like for 500 yen, you are getting really big, really detailed like display pieces. So for 500 yen, this is more about what you should be getting. So I guess in that point, we've been kind of spoiled. But however, it is quite small. So um, if you do prefer 
getting these because before they were quite big and detailed um this one might disappoint you a little bit however if you just kind of like me like beetles and you just like the shapes and sizes and collecting um at that point then i do recommend getting this guy it's nice and small you know and it is because bit name wise it is the little stag beetle so it is kind of like in scale with the other stuff so it does have that going for it you know even with these little like mouth things that i might have forgot to show and off like pinecone pincer things or i don't really know you know but so yeah um in terms of recommendation would i recommend this guy over this one um they're both quite small if i had to choose uh if you were like me and collect pretty much everything beetle wise from this line then i would recommend this one as it is a bit more unique however if you only have a few and you want them more uniform then this guy is definitely better because it just looks more like it however um i don't really know about how big the other ones are yet so can't really recommend that so i think um for those who maybe this is your first time get, getting into these beetles i might actually recommend the previous set uh kuagata 03 just because while they do have some of the small ones like the gold one i showed before um like uh this guy while they do have the small one the other ones are like much bigger so you kind of kind of see where they like allocated their plastic re uh plastic volume so um currently we've only i've only done two from the set and they are both quite small so yeah although i also know they are cutting costs so kind of got a good more break there but yeah so i do think um if you're just starting into collecting i would recommend a previous zero two or zero three set uh, i would say skip zero one just because if you want to keep in the same size class however if you don't if you already collected like me the previous sets um i do think this set might still be worth getting so yeah i'm not quite too sure so uh please check out my other videos after this one where maybe they're slightly bigger so i'm able to give you like more of a i guess an unbiased uh opinion because currently it is quite biased but it's just the two i built and they are quite small so however i do like them a lot so i think um if you're like me and a huge fan of beetles and a collector of these things and just like collecting uniform collection uh i do recommend getting this guy however if you're kind of fair weather fan and just kind of like them um then i would say it's a toss-up if you like what you see i think you wouldn't be disappointed as long as you know just how big it is you know uh like i said best way would just be i think get one of these cards and cut it into like a third and hold it and that's pretty much what you're getting um and if you're only like slightly into beetles then i would say this might be a pass just for the size especially for uh some of you who are uh, pre-ordering this and have to import the import tax for this small one might be a bit disappointing so yeah uh sorry busters i ramble on a bit too much but just wanted to give you an honest opinion so yeah there you have it busters uh as always thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh, review and video um as always i kind of go just you know i just kind of uh do this on just uh winging it so um if there's anything i went over too fast or did something wrong or something you wanted to know more about um please let me know down in the comment section below i will be sure to get back to you on that so yeah uh, once again, greatly appreciate you guys for watching and hope to see you again in my next capsule toy video. As always, Buster Coon here, off to find his Halo Girl.